In Norse mythology, the Dark Elves, Miracle Fur, are murky beings who live in a dwelling named Svartalfheim, the home of the Black Elves. The locations of Svartalfar and Svartalfheim are attested in the Prose Edda, written by Snorri Sturluson. The Elves of Svartalfar appear to be synonymous with the Dwarves, and also conceivably the Dokalfar, the Dark Elves meaning possibly we are seeing a similar theme, divided into three. Take the ancient Egyptians, for example, there are three creation stories, in which a combination of all three is considered the truth. So combining all three would probably give us a bird's eye view of the situation, where we will see the darkness, which should never be disregarded. Show image of Odin with one eye, land of the blind. The dark fields, known as Nithovalir, is probably a variant description of Svartalfar, the dwelling of the dwarfs. Skalskapama, 35 mentions Svartalfar and the sons of Ivaldi. Ivaldi was a dwarf whom Loki engages in creating replacement hair for Sif, wife of Thor. After Loki mischievously sheared off her golden braid of hair, the place where individual dwarves are found is named Svartalfarheima world of black elves, and appears in the Prosedda twice. In Gilfaginning 33, the world of the black elves is where the dwarves are sought by the gods, to craft the fetter Gleipnir, to bind the wolf Fenrir. And in a similar notion, this is where Loki has his encounter with the dwarf and Vari. The scholar's commentary states, Both attestations mention the locations along with the dwarves, meaning that they may be simply synonyms for the very same concept. Scholar John Lindo comments, whether or not the Dokal Far and the Svartal Far were in fact considered the same at the time of writing the Prose Edda, and he believes this is unclear. My question would be, what were they before they entered the Prose Edda? The next Norse documentary will be on both the Dokal Far and the Yossel Far. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe for more ancient mysteries.